Hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing out there in YouTube land? Well, you already know. This is your girl, Burnett Perkins. And um, I'm coming back with another reaction video. It's still Wednesday, guys. I just changed shirts. I get this shirt from um Five Below. Five dollars. That's why I try to get a lot of my tees from. If not, Walmart. Since I'm not in Florida, I can't get any made around here where I can. But it's not like Florida. You can just go to the flea market and they make them. Not here in Georgia. That's why it sucks around here. So anyway, you guys, I'm about to get ready to get into this video. Um, keep it working. Keep working. That's his YouTube name. Go over there and check him out. If you follow the Cryo family, if you follow Love by Erica, if you follow the Moko family in Creo Bay. And if you I mean if you really follow them, you'll get the concepts of the story on what's going on. If not, you just gonna be in La La Land lost. So, with that being said, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit like, comment, and notification bell. Also, don't forget to tell someone about your girl. I'm not going to even say share. I'm just going to throw in, don't forget to tell someone about your girl. Also, go over there and check out his channel, Keeping Working. Keep Working, not Keeping. I'm sorry. It's, oh, yeah, I have it written down. Keep Working. That's it. And that's all. So, I want to say live, love, laugh, laugh, love, live, peace, love, and have grease. And I always put God first. I'm not a preacher nor a pastor. Not even a host. Not even an usher. I'm none of that. I'm just a child of God trying to share the word of God. Yeah, that way. And to my new subscribers, I appreciate you guys stopping by, clicking that red button, and following me, and trusting and believing in me. And um, all my topics, just entertainment and topics. That's it, and that's all. I'm not here to judge. I want to say peace, salute, smooches. I'm out of here. This is part 10. We got one more part to go after this. Part 11. Now, I know that she did a reunion or something like that. Part 1, 2, and 3. I'm not going to be doing that. If y'all wanted me to do it, I'm sorry. I'm not going to get into it. And the reason why I'm not going to get into it because it's old to everyone else now. So people, they already know about it. It's two to three weeks old probably now. And people, they probably really don't care about it no more. Like, they probably don't care if I do videos on it. So, I mean, we just going to do part 11, which is the next part. And we're going to move on and see what happens next. See what new videos come out from Mr. Cryer or Love by Erica. I do want to say this. I know a few days ago that Love by Erica was in an accident and I did do a community post about it, you know, sending my prayers and my condolences to her family. And I just hope that everyone was okay, her baby, her son. And I'm just happy that Mr. Crowdy was there for her. And I'm happy that everyone is okay. Okay, now let's get into the video. Now on part 10, Love by Erica basically started off saying that Mr. Mucker and Latoya came out on her birthday. Even though she been knew that they was talking and they probably was been fooling around, they didn't make it public to her birthday because she felt like they was intentionally trying to hurt her. And that is somebody intentionally trying to hurt you because y'all had all that time from October to January, y'all gonna choose January the 29th, her birthday to come out. When y'all had November and December to come out. People already knew y'all was talking and fooling around in the first place. So y'all should have just came out. But no, that was planned. That was planned. Ain't nobody telling me nothing. That was planned because they knew that that's a special day to Erica. They both don't like her. So let's try her on her birthday. But like Erica said, she been knew that they was dating. She was just waiting for them to come out and say it. And it's just crazy because if y'all so grown and y'all so positive and y'all so this and y'all so that, why is y'all being so sneaky? If y'all dating each other, just say y'all dating each other and move on. Y'all was going to get crucified anyway for even being with each other. No matter if y'all took that long to come out or not. If y'all came out the same day y'all met each other, it don't matter. Y'all still was going to get bashed for it. So what did you line for just... Get bashed for telling the truth. I was saying something about that in one of my previous videos. If you're going to get bashed, get bashed for telling the truth and not a lie. Love by Erica also said that Latoya will never be around her child, which I had a feeling that Latoya wasn't going to be around her child anyway because 
all the stuff that Latoya didn't put Erica through. Not only that, but Mr. Mucka too. Mr. Mucker act like he don't even want the child. So if Mr. Mucker don't want the child, why do you think that you will have the right to be around their child when the child was not even going to be around the father, which is Mr. Mucker? So, like Erica said, Latoya is weird and creepy. Like, you over here making plans with another person's child. Like, who does that? Erica was also saying in the video how people changed on her. People switched up. People that she helped. After she changed her phone number and after she started doing videos with Mr. Cryer, people started to change up. And that's probably because people started to change up because Erica and Mr. Cryer history. And, you know, that was kind of public. People know what Erica and Mr. Cryer went through. You know, when Erica was pregnant with Dion and him getting the whole DNA test and seeing if Dion really his, et cetera, et cetera. And people still look at Erica like, oh, you still that same old person. You didn't change. So why are you going back to something that caused you pain in the first place? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that's what other people was probably saying about Erica and Mr. Cryer. They know that they know their history and the stuff that they went through that was bad. So they probably looking at Erica like, you crazy as hell. What are you doing? And far as Erica changing her number, I'm pretty sure she changed that number because she wanted to get away from all the bullshit. Nobody want to sit right there and keep being reminded about the bad things that they've done. So they're going to try to move away from it. And how can you do that? Well, one of the ways is to change your number. No one can contact you. You just need a fresh start and a clear mind to do so. So for the people that was mad at her for doing that, I mean, that's kind of crazy. I got a question for y'all. Do y'all feel like Mr. Mugga knew that the child was his, but he didn't want to get a DNA test because he wanted to milk the entire situation? He knew that if he went on his channel and tried to make Erica look bad, like try to, you know, swerve everyone and say something like, oh, I tried to get the DNA test, but Erica is not trying to, you know, she ain't trying to let me do it. I want the child to be mine, and if the child mine, I'm going to take care of the child, and I'm going to love the child, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like that's something that he would have tried to do, and I think that he just milked the situation because he wanted more views, subscribers, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The same with Latoya. They do things for the money, for the views, for the subscribers, and they try to swerve everyone from the truth. And they try to put these lies into your head. Now, I want to say this. I know that Erica and Mr. Cryer is not perfect. I hate when people keep trying to be like, oh, you keep taking up for Mr. Cryer and love by Erica. I know that they're not perfect. No one is perfect. But the thing is, the way that Love by Erica and Mr. Cryer handled this situation is way better than what Creole Bay and Mr. Mucka did. And no one can argue with me on that fact. Now, Love by Erica posted a screenshot of, I think, YouTube texting Mr. Mucka. And he tried to make it seem like him and Latoya was doing big things on YouTube. But in reality, all you got to do is apply for something. I forgot what Erica said exactly. But all you have to do is apply for something. And they'll send you that email. I probably can do it. And they'll send me the email. <laughs> but Erica said, everybody don't get picked. That's the thing. But why is you over there trying to make it seem like you and Creole Bay is doing big things? Why are you in competition with Love by Erica and Mr. Cryer in the first place? Go about your life. If y'all want to live happy, happily ever after, and y'all want to get married and do this and do that, do that. Don't sit right here and try to bash Cryer and bash Erica on the way to y'all getting married and stuff like that because there's no need to do so. If you don't care about Erica and you don't care about Cryer like you claim you don't, even though you do, obviously, You'll move on. Love by Erica also posted a conversation between her and Mr. Mucka at the end of the video. The conversation was like 10 minutes long. And the way that Mr. Mucka was talking, he sounded like he did not care at all. The stuff that Erica was saying to Mr. Mucka about their child, he didn't care at all. And that's ridiculous. But this is the funny thing, though. Now that Mr. Cryer is adopting the child, Mr. Mucker and Latoya better not feel no way. I don't want to hear no videos of them coming on this platform 
saying that, oh, Erica is a bad mom. She's a terrible mom because how you just going to let someone else adopt my child, yada, yada, yada. Because then it's like, oh, now you care about the child. You care about the child because someone that you don't like, which is Mr. Cryer, someone that you don't like got your child. Someone that actually cares, someone that wants to be there. So don't come on this platform crying to everyone because people not going to want to hear it. You should have did the DNA test and you should have found out when you had the chance to. So now that the child going to be Mr. Cryer's, I don't want to hear nothing. Anyway, man. Let me know what y'all think about this video down in the comment sections below. I will be back with part 11 pretty soon. That is going to be the last video on this series. With that being said, I hope y'all have a blessed day. And I'm out. Peace.